I'm going to keep this short and simple. My wife is scheduled for a C-section tomorrow. My mother-in-law came to watch our toddler. My mother-in-law said she had to travel prior to coming. Turns out she would she flew to Ecuador. She said she would test prior to coming. She didn't test. She suddenly had a cold. We found out she went to a gathering for Christmas. My wife just had a pre-procedure test. She tested positive. Mother-in-law tested positive today as well. She brought COVID into our home. I am now not allowed in the delivery room. <gasps> My wife and I have remained isolated for weeks due to over precaution in preparation for the baby arrival. I'm going to explode. Help. Sir, I am so sorry. There is no helping this situation. That is just terrible. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's rough. That that really sucks. She felt her son wasn't getting enough home-cooked meals. I don't like the sounds of this already. After 22 years of marriage, I found a post-it note in the bathroom from my husband saying that he was leaving and would be moved out before I got home. I tried to reach my husband by phone but was unsuccessful, so I called his mother. She screamed over the phone that I refused to make him dinners. I did, but he didn't come home many nights until after everyone was in bed. She yelled more insults with me holding the phone about 12 inches from my ear. Too bad she stated that only her son matters, not our kids. The boys were in earshot. That is, what is with these people? First of all, your son can cook his own damn meals as far as I'm concerned. Two, imagine being a grown man and running to your mom and saying, I don't get enough home cooked meals. Meh. You know what? Probably dodged a bullet. If someone's gonna run out on your family over some home cooked meals. While I was pregnant with our first child, my mother-in-law would make rude comments about how she wanted to keep my unborn child every weekend and how much she would help and teach me. Now, after being divorced for eight years, she has absolutely nothing to do with them. Rant done. Like, I appreciate when grandparents are like, I will watch your kids for you, bless, because I'm sure parents love a weekend off, but there's like a balance you don't want to be overbearing. You already raised us. It's my turn now. Thank God it's not my turn though. Knock on wood. When I was pregnant with my first child, my mother-in-law tried to make so many decisions for me that I had nightmares about her kidnapping my baby. Oh. When I finally got my ex to talk to her, she cried and said that it wasn't for her. If it wasn't for her, there would be no baby. <laughs> that is so awkward. I guess my participation in the process wasn't necessary. This is so concerning. Quite literally, mom, you have nothing to do with the making of the baby. I mean, I would hope not anyway. My ex-mother-in-law told my husband to leave me because I couldn't have children. Well, isn't that nice? She also felt that blacks and Arabs shouldn't marry. After two years being divorced, I'm still angry. We did not get counseling. The only person who needs counseling is your mother-in-law, your ex-mother-in-law, because some of this stuff that she is saying is stuff like, mm, I don't know. There seems to be some deeper issues there. If anyone needs counseling, I think it's her. Ooh, a screenshot. My mom just told me that we need to put our stimulus money under the mattress. Stimulus? Is that the right word? That sounds inappropriate. Am I saying it right? Because we can't let the government know we have that money by putting it into a bank. Um, the money that the government sent us? The money they direct deposited directly into our bank account? Yeah, what? If the government is the one who sent you the money and direct deposit it, why would, girl, I'm just saying girl, but it's technically the, the boy's mother. That make no damn sense. I feel like your mother is gonna rob you. <laughs> rob that money from your mattress. My current in-laws are amazing. Wow, that's the first time we've heard that so far. But the best part of divorcing my ex was the knowledge that I never have to host his mother-in-law in my home ever again. One time, my ex mother-in-law was sitting in my home and after watching her own son throw a soda can on the floor and not pick it up, she said to my mom, I really had hoped he would marry a tidier woman. When her daughter was six months pregnant with her first kid and I was nine months pregnant with my second kid, she asked for me to send back all of the clothes she'd sent me for the first kid so her daughter could have them. 
Well then, okay, um, pop can thing, just absolutely ridiculous, petty, silly, like what are you talking about? The clothes thing, now I kind of understand asking for hand-me-downs because like how helpful is that? I mean, who doesn't love hand-me-downs? I love hand-me-downs. I will still take hand-me-downs for my sisters. So I understand that, but I feel like maybe she didn't ask in the nicest way. My mother-in-law disliked me before she'd ever met me. Um, I'd come from a broken home. My parents divorced when I was an infant. Hey! Same. <laughs> that just wouldn't do. My husband and I eloped. Boy, did that piss her off. Later, much later, we found out her own father had deserted her and her mother when she was a little girl, yet she'd been judging others for the same thing for decades. I don't understand though. Why you judge kids? Because it's like, do you think that I had a say in my parents' divorce? That is their relationship. That is their marriage and their lives. Ex-in-laws tried to invite themselves on our honeymoon and stay in the same hotel. No, 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 absolutely not. Oh, gross. And what was the outcome? Oh Lord, I'm scared to read what this outcome was. Jesus, take the wheel, please. I told the ex it was totally inappropriate. He said it was fine and made me the bad guy. And tell them, no, y'all. I am sorry, boo, but I, mm -mm, that would be the quickest marriage ever. Because if my new husband said, yeah, fine, come on parents and stay in the same room on our honeymoon, see ya. Like I'd literally rather go by myself on our vacation and our honeymoon than join with your parents. I was 18 when I got married. Mm, that is young. We went out with my mother-in-law for the first time. I was dressed how a typical 18 year old was dressed. Ripped jeans. Hey, I'll still wear that. Ripped jeans, ridiculously high heels, wife beater. Oh wow. She comes out looking like a typical 45 year old woman and says, wait, I'll be right back. Comes out wearing my identical outfit. Oh, well then. Okay, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued with the situation and I would like to know more. 18, I'm just thinking about myself at 18. Like, no, to each their own. If you wanna get married at 18 and you're an adult, do what you want. I'm still not married, I'm 29. Divorced now, but when I was married, my parents-in-law offered us a gift to pay for me to have a vasectomy. Oh, that's generous. At the time, I wasn't planning on getting one and neither my then wife nor had I breathed one word to them about our future plans to have kids or not have kids. My ex-mother-in-law kept trying to set my now ex-wife up on dates with guys from her old neighborhood who she went to high school with. That's terrible. <laughs> that is so terrible. Like you don't get to choose who I date and how many kids I have. That is just wrong. Like I'm sure I've dated some people that my dad has been like, ah. Like we'd like to, I'd like to see you with someone better, but like my life and I learned my lesson, trust, trust me. We lived with my husband's parents when we were first married. I could not leave the house without his mother asking, dear, are you sure you don't need a sweater? It was hell. <laughs> I feel like I read that in the most like mother-in-law way. Like dear, oh wow, I need sleep. <laughs> Well, those are some monster-in-laws. If you have any monster-in-law stories, tell me. Obviously, I don't because I'm not married. And honestly, my current boyfriend, if he becomes my husband one day, here's hoping. Um, I love his parents and they seem to like me. So hopefully I don't have these stories of my own. Okay, bye. See you another one. Stay classy and stay sassy. Monster-in-laws. That went too far. Guys, my hair looks so freaking long. So I didn't do my hair today. I just like let it dry after my shower this morning. I'm like kind of impressed for what happened since I didn't do it. But I'm also hiding it behind my back for a reason. <laughs> Oops, no one cares. Let's go. Need a sip of water. I still have the sticker on this. Do I have to pull it off right now? Yes, because my OCD. Wow, it came off so easily, I'm so happy. Look how cool this cup is. My friend, oh, it's not even doing it justice. It's like monochrome rainbow in person. I don't think it's showing up on the camera, but I got it for Christmas. How fun. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, I'm sitting back <laughs> for once.
Have you even subscribed to the channel yet? Don't be a fake fan. Hit that subscribe button. You know you want to.